We're also going to blow up the uh, automatic transmission, by the way. Yeah! Are you community is getting out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't been, <laughs> haven't been up this early in a long time. It's like 8.30 in the morning and yeah, I don't really get up that early. I'm not really a morning person. Last night, we put all the interior back together in this car and we let off one of those Meguiar stink bombs to get rid of some of that remaining smell that was still stuck in there. So I've left the windows down overnight. It probably hasn't done much because it's been really cold and that's probably not gonna let anything evaporate. I don't know. It smells a bit better, but there's still like an underlying smell there. We'll worry about it later. So today, we're gonna pick up a T5 manual gearbox for the AU Falcon. We have to travel all the way to the other side of the city again, so it's about a two hour drive. I don't really understand why everything to do with AU Falcons are on the other side of the city, but yeah, we've got to travel there. First, we're going to go get some breakfast and enjoy a nice cool morning. Damn. Yo, yo. Oh, I woke up. You just woke up? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we're at my uh, favorite breakfast place. You can get like a full massive meal. 10, 10 bucks? 10 bucks. 10 dollars, pretty good, pretty good. Some juice. Nice. First stop, we just picked up some cash at this Warren, Warren, Warren? Warren Ponds. Warren Ponds. We're about another 45 minutes away until our destination. It's been pretty crazy. It's such a nice day outside. Yeah, any any comments? Any comments, bro? Chill on. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, bro. Nah, it's not bad. It's actually it's nice. Freaking right? savage. Nice weather today, at least. Just so far away. What's this? Two weekends in a row, though, in Geelong? No. Yep. Yeah, pretty much two I think weekends. I got a lot. I got a last week, yeah? Mm. Back again. <laughs> I think this describes where we are. <laughs> Alright, we have arrived at the wreckers and yeah, pick up the five speed gearbox and I'll be on our way. Look at our T5 gearbox. I didn't record much because it seems a bit weird. We've like gone onto someone's property and taken some stuff, so. <laughs> yeah, they can see it. Yeah, so they can see it's in there. It's in the boot. We've got the, uh, oh, it's, oh, it feels heavy. We've got the, uh, the tail shaft, the gearbox, the computer. Did you see that? No. It's I like didn't. a truck on the train, train rail. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Yeah, we got pretty much everything, so another two two hours on the way home and Wait, I wanna see this truck. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go easy, bro. Oh, man. Dude, as if the I knew. Dude, that's knew crazy. You were. Yeah. Even Geelong people know us, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Um the AU community is getting out there. Yeah, I, I didn't get your name, but uh thank you. For, uh, that, it's a giant on your shirt. Giant, okay, yeah. I don't wanna put the camera on your face, so yeah. Especially around everyone. <laughs> All right, so we're back home now. The gearbox sort of flipped and landed in a very peculiar spot. And it's also dripped some fluid everywhere. Oh God. <laughs> For how girthy this is, this is pretty lightweight. So there you guys go. That's the uh, entire swap kit we have. The transmission, the drive shaft, the clutch, which is chilling over there somewhere. I need to take the bolts off to see how much life we have on the clutch and also clean all the transmission fluid off. We also have the pedal box and the shifter, some maintenance stuff that we will do in another video. But I was told that the engine that this gearbox came off was one of the best engines a customer had because I bought this from a Wreckers and it was attached to a really good engine and car apparently so it should technically be fine and be working mint it's only done about 210,000 kilometers so that's not much for an au falcon um the shaft as well which is extremely girthy <laughs> we'll have to um get lengthened or shortened i don't know yet we have to get on the car and have a look um, and then we'll just take it to the same place that we took the chaser to get that drive shaft lengthened i believe i don't know shortened i don't remember i'm gonna set all the uh, parts out in a nice neat fashion tomorrow so I'll be back in a second. Got a lot on today and we also need to let this car air out another day because I've just put a post up on my Instagram story of how much this thing stinks and I need you guys to help me out because fuck, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's the next day now. We actually picked up a exhaust off one of my subscribers, uh, Simon. Thank you very much. I went to his house. He lives very close to me. We got a full exhaust system for the car. Here we go. Full standard exhaust. It's a little bit janky. Uh, I can smell the uh, transmission fluid here, but it's sort of been cut off here. So I'll need to get some like goop to like weld it back in place. I don't know. I don't have a welder, so we'll have to improvise. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yep, a whole bunch of shit just came out. No worries. Not the best exhaust, but it should do the trick, right? Yeah, the exhaust is full of rust. But the only reason why we need this, you know, exhaust is to roadworthy the car and get it a little bit quieter. So it should muffle the noise a little bit and should be a lot quieter. Pretty bad, though. It's like a kid's rattly toy. All right, moment of truth. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. Oh, I mean, look, not bad. All right, it looks like we don't really have much life left on this clutch. Life left. I'll get in the light for you. I mean, there's a, there's a, nah, there's not really much left. Smell really, it smells like worn brakes as well. I think that's just normal clutch things, but I mean, I'm sure we could just chuck this in and have a blast. So maybe I'll do that, but then I'll have to pull the gearbox out to put a new clutch in. I don't know if I can be bothered doing that, but for the meantime, this might work and should hold up what we're trying to do for a little bit till it starts slipping. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I get a new clutch and spend the money or should I, you know, not get a clutch and just use this until I completely destroy it. We're also gonna blow up the uh, automatic transmission, by the way. As for the pressure plate, I'll bring it out. Uh, there's not really any like big heat spots, I guess. It's not bad, it's not bad, but like I said, it's, I don't know, from, from what I can see, it doesn't look like we should put this back in. I realized I didn't really properly show you the uh, gearbox itself. It's in pretty good nick from what I can tell. I'm no expert, but there's like a little bit of play there, but I'm pretty sure a little bit is normal. It is a Tremec T5 Falcon gearbox. It did come out of an AU Falcon Ute. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my, AU Falcon 6 liter single overhead cam. We've got a couple of Zach Baldies in the uh, in the rear. They're pretty, pretty boldy. No tread on this. Gonna have to do something about that soon. I just thought I'd reiterate my plans with the AU Falcon just to make it clear to you guys what the intention of this car is. So again, I've already said that we're gonna drift this thing and I do wanna set it up properly. Like I don't wanna just like you know, make it like a janky sort of build. I do wanna, you know, make this a good clean drift car with semi-decent parts, but also keeping budget in mind. So I've already ordered a whole bunch of parts for this thing. I decided to just buy a brand new clutch. Um, I've got oil. I've already bought spark plugs, spark plug leads and everything, you know, to get this car sorted because it's not running entirely right at the moment. So uh, there is a few little problems with it, which uh, we will have to fix. Man, that was a loud bird. <laughs> From the past two videos that we've uploaded on this Falcon, we've seen a whole bunch of new people and the channel is doing really good. So it's just making me really excited for this build because the sky's the limit, obviously, and bada bing, bada boom. So this five speed won't go in for a little bit because we do need to get the car registered and roadworthy first. So in order for that to happen, I do need to get stock strut springs because there is like no travel in the back. <laughs> as Nathan just uh, demonstrated for us. But other than that, yeah. Before we go as well, I want to also say that I think we'll be doing some merch on this AU Falcon. I'll design up some stickers and stuff for you guys if you are into Falcons. I know that I definitely wasn't into Falcons up until a couple of weeks ago, which is very strange because... Yeah. <laughs> and I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone who bought MR2 posters. They're all sold out. They're all gone. Never to be uh, released again. So thank you guys for purchasing that. I'm actually surprised with... Uh, that I'm surprised that we sold out that quickly because obviously we sort of test the waters every time we release any items. I don't exactly know what What's gonna happen Thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more au falcon content almighty au falcon content then uh subscribe like and, uh, oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching see you all in the next one oh hey uh, sorry sorry i didn't see you there oh girthy boy